Howard, and what we're going to talk about today is something a little different for a technology conference, because we're talking low tech. And instead of digital storytelling, which I saw on the program, we're going to do analog storytelling. Okay? So, a little bit about me. These are all the different things I do. You can see I'm a little busy, but let me tell you about me. My favorite breakfast is eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, maple syrup, hash brown, coffee, and orange juice. Count me in. Hello. But as you can see, it's taken its toll lately. So, now, this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Now, why did I show you that? You'll find out. Okay, everybody's talking about the 21st century skills. You hear them called soft skills. Personally, I call them things that we've been doing for 2,000 years. But suddenly everybody's jumping on this, and what we have to do is teach these. They're really real skills. Skills that we really use, skills that we really need. And things we do every day. If you look at all the stuff that's coming out, the World Economic Forum is talking about the things that are declining, the things that are coming up. One of the big things that we're going to talk about Analytical thinking, active learning, creativity, and originality. And what I want to do is give you an easy way to bring this back into the classroom and put it back in the students' heads. Okay? We're going to work with their imagination. Get rid of the boredom. <laughs> We're a visual society, right? Everybody agree? Yes. Everything we see, it's quick visuals. What's this? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. We see something like this. We don't need a word. What's this? What's this? Clean after your dog. I'm not really sure if it's clean up after your dog or to give your dog an enema. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't read Polish. <laughs> but the idea is that I do a whole other series about presentation skills. And the idea is we want visuals that make an impact. And visuals will help people to remember. Come in, come in. All right. We can talk about how the mind works and short-term memory and consolidation and everything else, but we know if we usually see something, we usually remember it. Our brain is wired for visuals. 50% of our brain reacts to visuals, and it reacts much faster than anything else. They've done studies on this, and when I say something versus when you see something, accuracy and retention are much better. So, the eyes have it. And the big thing now is storytelling. Everybody's talking about using stories in the classroom. And I thought, hmm, what's another way we can use stories? Because a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Mm -hmm. And every picture tells a story. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> Don't. It. Yes, by the Rolling Stones, okay? So, we're going to tell a little story about you. You can read. Since I was little, cute, really cute. Of course. Aren't I cute? Yeah, I have some. Super cute. Yes, what happened to you? Come <laughs> cuter. Okay. 
Well, at least eight. But it's going to make sense. Get it to tie together. And what you can do is you're going to do this now as teachers, as part of presentation. But imagine you can do this with the students as part of assessment. Okay? And then after which, some of you are going to present your story. Okay? Understand? Yeah. Go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. All right. So group one, these are the pictures that they have. Okay? And what did, well, don't tell us what you chose okay. for grammar. Um, and you guys, the oh, yeah. You want to, not in total darkness this time. <laughs> Forgive her, she's studying accounting. They're going to turn off the phone. Okay. Okay. Wee! Okay. Okay. Just like halfway, maybe. So we have to guess what grammar thing Oh, there you go. Yeah, and you figure out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's better. That good? Okay, great. All right, so let's hear. Okay. We've come from the planet of Zubator. On Earth, we have eaten in many interesting. We have eaten many interesting meals. We have been to our favorite restaurant in Salmia, Kuwait. <laughs> many people have seen the famous fish in the hand statue outside the restaurant. The owner has created a special drink in our honor called Zuby Juice. After we, after we have driven in our sports car, we have played pool in a pool. Um, we have enjoyed our views from Zuba tours and we have returned to uh, Zuba tour. This is our beloved country, or place, family. <laughs> wow. Wow. And any guesses on the grammar? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Was that correct? Yes. Yay! Okay, great. <laughs> okay, good. Very imaginative. <laughs> Creativity, right? Yes, that's the whole idea. That's what we're looking for. But did you notice any grammar mistakes? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this gives you an idea how you can use this. Who's next? <coughs> Okay, what, what number? Five. Five? Let's see if it disappears this time. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. Miss Lala and Miss Virginia, who are teachers at Quake University, own a coffee shop together. The coffee shop, which also sells alcohol, is on a busy street in London. The tables, which are outside or on the sidewalk, are always busy with weird and unusual customers. One day, a customer, who was riding a bike and had a balloon head, ran into a table. The customers, who were so upset, threw their macaroons at her. A squirrel which lived in a tree nearby overlooking the cafe stole a macaroon. The squirrel was so thirsty that it went to a fountain where it met a goat that was actually an undercover policeman. <laughs> the policeman, who was from China, walked down the corridor to take the squirrel to prison. The prison, which was in a scary part of London, was the squirrel's final destination. Oh. <laughs> Afterwards, can you tell me what prescription you guys are on? <laughs> it sounds like coffee. Just coffee? <laughs> just coffee? <laughs> just coffee? Just <laughs> Great. All right, what was the grammar? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Next group. Who's next? What number? Six. Six? Six? Yeah. Go. 
Okay, great. Joe was nagging all the time about the food his mother makes. So she told him if he behaved in a good manner, she would take him to a wonderful restaurant. She asked him whether to go by the train or to go by the carriage. He chose to go by carriage, and on their way, it was raining cats and dogs. When they arrived, they walked through a long corridor. Joe complained about that, so, that too. In the restaurant, they, they, saw a wonderful picture, they saw wonderful pictures and statues. They were served a very nice and delicious meal, but Joe did not stop complaining about the meal. On the way back, Joe and his mother did not stop fighting. Until they saw two donkeys fighting each other. They stopped fighting and never stopped laughing. The end. Yeah, who's going to guess the grammar? Yes, sir. Yes. What was your grammar when you were teaching? Oh, I think past progressive, yes, and uh, present perfect too. Yeah, I use both. Great. Very good. Uh, next group. What number? Four. Four. Okay. Once upon a time, uh, in an autumn, on an autumn day, which was very quiet and peaceful, there was a squirrel, which was <laughs> very adventurous and curious. One day he decided to discover the world, which was wide and wild. While he was running, he found a mirror, which was magical and crystal clear. He looked at the mirror, admiring himself. Suddenly, he found himself in a place where it was under the ground. Uh, through that tunnel, which looked like a maze, he found a big Easter bunny that offered him a plate which was full of fruit. Out of curiosity, he ate the fruit. Um, he found an express train which was very long. The train took him in a land which had uh, endless snow, where he stayed there forever. <laughs> Many strange activities were mentioned as well. A fun day, a full day, was well spent in thinking and preparing for that challenge, starting from food, places, and freaking weather conditions. All were involved. So the fun was to its max. Trying a weird breakfast was chosen to be only the beginning. Moving on, a visit to a haunted house and got stuck in the middle of a wild storm were mentioned as well. As a result, meeting, sorry, meeting weird creatures is expected too. While all of this extreme fun was happening, there Oh, their father's golden fancy car has reached to pick them up to visit their grandma. That challenge was told to the father who laughed at, at loud on their special list. Okay. I wasn't in. 
next victim, I mean next story. <laughs> no? Yes? No? You don't have to, no pressure. Which number? Seven. So, uh, 
Sorry, if you came late, you missed the beginning. Tell me, whoops, what's my favorite breakfast? Bacon, egg, bacon, sausage, pancakes, 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 pancakes. pancakes. orange juice, coffee, typical American breakfast. Do you realize what you just did? For 45 minutes, you remembered totally worthless information about my breakfast, because I didn't tell you to memorize it, did I? <laughs> yeah. But seeing the picture, it took. This is the whole idea of using visuals. You don't need technology. It's a piece of paper. Forget tech. Let's teach again. So that's it. Any questions? All right, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, um, if you want, I gave you all a card. Um, if you go, I do a lot of different projects, so you'll see once you go to the site. This is my landing page on the card. And if you go there, my information is there. It's also in the back of the program. My email, email me, tell me what I like for breakfast. And I'll send you the pictures. What if I get wrong? Uh, you know, you'll get the back page of the pictures. Okay? Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much. And I hope I see you all tomorrow at the panel where we talk about tech. Any other questions or comments? Yes? I just came now. If you don't mind, just put back the slide. That had your breakfast. Uh, <laughs> to, 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 to keep that in memory. Yeah. So we can get our free pictures. Yeah. You don't have to read. Yeah, I'll show you. The you can be hungry. Okay. Very American, huh? Okay. <laughs> What's this?